Welcome to this Chromebook Camp screencast where I'm going to go over cleaning out and organizing your Gmail. So here I am in Gmail. Uh, over on the left side, if you go down under More, you'll see there's choices down here to create a new label. A label acts like a folder in Gmail. So if I click on Create New Label, and let's say I was going to make science. Because my for my science class, let's say that my teacher sends some emails and there are some that I might want to keep from time to time. You'll see now that that label has appeared here on the left side. Similar to Google Drive, when you mouse over a label, you can go to this little menu and this will give you some choices. One of the choices there is you could color code your labels if you wanted to. Um, and then if you, for whatever reason, if you made a label and you don't want it anymore, you can remove that label and that will delete it. Uh, you can drag and drop messages onto the labels or you can use the check boxes. So let's say that these three uh, messages related to my science class, so I wanted to put them into the science label or folder. When you check an item, more buttons appear up here at the top. One of which is this little folder icon. And if you mouse over it, it says that the choice for that is to move to. So if I click on that and I choose science, that will deliberately put those messages into my science folder or label. So now when I click on science, I'm only seeing the things that I've assigned to the science folder or label. If you want to delete messages, you can click on a message. Oops, click on the checkbox rather. And when you click on the message, you could click on the trash icon to delete. That'll send those to the trash. Your trash is stored over here under the more area. If you go under more, there's a choice here for trash. And it says here at the top, and this is important to know, that messages that have been in the trash for more than 30 days will automatically be deleted. So when you move something to the trash, it gets stored there for 30 days, unless you come here and deliberately click this empty trash now. That will actually clean out your trash. Uh, what else can I show you here? These, these little markers next to the checkboxes, there's little stars. So if a message is something important that you want to flag, uh, you can turn the star on. So let's say that this message right here was something that I need, know I need to get back to my teacher on. I can star the message. Over on the left side here is a choice for starred. So if you use the stars and you go to starred, this will show you anything you've start. So some people use this as a way to mark a message that they know they have to get back to and maybe they don't have time to write a message right then, they'll go to their start and, and kind of clean that out as needed. And you can simply turn the star off and then it just won't appear in the start area anymore. These are the little yellow flags. These are called importance markers. Uh, these are supposed to say that this is a message, and if you mouse over it, it'll tell you this, that um, it's it's marked as important and it was it, it flags those messages that, that it knows are coming from possibly somebody within the district or a teacher or a human. Um, if you don't use those, and these have had less and less value over time, if you don't want to see these, you can turn these off. Where you can turn these off are if you go into the settings, or the gear rather, and you choose settings. Back in here, there's a choice for inbox. And right now markers are turned on by default. You can say no markers, hit save changes down at the bottom. And then when you're back in your inbox, after your inbox reloads, you'll see that the little mar those little importance markers are gone. So the other uh, thing that you can do is if you don't want to delete a message and maybe for whatever reason you don't want to file it away in a folder, Gmail has a built-in feature called archiving. So say there was a message that you wanted to keep but you necessarily didn't need it to assign it anywhere. When you checkbox a message, this little box icon up here almost looks like a file cabinet. This is to archive. If I click on archive, that just gets the message out of my inbox. So notice that message is gone. It doesn't delete it. It moves it to the archive. And the archive is just kind of an area within Gmail. If you ever need to search for that message, you can use the search bar up here at the top. Or if you wanted to go through and see any archived messages, if you go under more, there's a choice here for all mail. When you go into all mail, this is anything that you've archived, anything that you have um, sent, received, this is everything. So some people just know that they can go to all mail and, and sort through if they're trying to find a very specific message. But your best bet is to probably search for it either from the person's name or the subject or any of the details that were in that message. So those are some quick overviews for Gmail. Spend a little time and clean out if you have messages from last year, move those, maybe make a folder if you need to keep them. If you don't need to keep them, just delete them and, and completely clean out your inbox so you're ready to go to start the new year. Hopefully those tips will help. Thanks for watching.